So here is the first house. And on the outside, it looks just kind of plain, I guess. Um, you do get the glam mansion windows. On the front area, it looks cute with the garden um, and the chairs and everything. Um, and then when you go inside, we have the homestead items. You do have uh, the, the popcorn machine, the preteen snacks, you got that blender, and also we got the kitchen uh, counters and the sink. Um, and then that stove right there, um, and, and then the dining table, I think is the loft one, if, if I'm not mistaken, and, and then we got these loft shelves, and then we got the rocking chair right there, uh, the nursery chair, and then in here we have the bathroom. I think that sink is the Pine Coastal sink. I could be wrong. And then, of course, we got the Holiday High Rise Shower. And then, of course, we have those ugly steps. And, and we have another Moroccan rug. And then we have these, uh, these couches and chairs. Um, upstairs, you do uh, get that purple bed, and you, it's not much else up here, you do get the, uh, the captivating post is the wardrobe so for the layout I think it's okay um, um, it's you know it's not bad at all um, it is actually a cute home in terms of inventory you're getting some good inventory in this house now here is this one on the outside it looks really cute um, and then, uh, and then we have, you know, all the outside over here, um, and then we got, I'm thinking in terms of inventory, you got the, uh, the Art Deco, and you have the chalet items. The layout of this home is, is okay. I don't really see any space for a living room. Or, I mean, there is one, but it's just not much space for one. Um... But yeah, again, you have the Art Deco items. And, and then, of course, out here you have a patio. And then a hot tub. So not too bad on this home. Not much inventory in here, but you do get some. But, but as a over layout, it's nice. Here is this home over here. And it's quite large. Um, you have, um, when you go, let's see, you have chalet items. You do have the gray couch, 
and you have that gray ottoman right there. And then of course you have those bookshelves, which we've had for a while in the game. I don't, but I don't know if everyone has them. And then, and then here's the upstairs. You know, it leads to a bedroom. The, um, I don't want to comment too early on the layout. Um, I'm just trying to see what smaller inventory items um, that we have because I'm tired of naming the big obvious ones that we always get. Um, Let's see, you got the exercise bikes in here, and then also an arcade game. And here is the other house that we got. This one is looking pretty nice on the outside. It looks like they have a little backyard with a pool, and then each deck has has something on there, like seating. So, so once we go inside, we have, well, you have that fountain out front. And then you have the um, very empty room. There's not much in this room at all. And then you have the loft shelves again. And chalet items. Per usual. Looks like we have a couple of the lavish items. And then that wall hanging set. I think that came with the senior event. Um, and then, and then more of the chalet items. And then once we go upstairs, um, not really too much up here. Um, the layout of this house, it's okay. Um, I mean, like, yeah, it's an okay layout for a house that's this big. Um... I think that the appearance, too, is very nice. So, so I've already done this house. Good job. Here is this house. Um, we have the downtown event win uh, windows and doors in this one. And... On the outside, it looks nice, but we'll see the inside here in just a moment. Um, so, we get that desk. And, and these couches. You get those. And then, up here, not too much in terms of inventory. I didn't really show show the downstairs very well, and I do apologize on that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the layout of this house is nice, and the appearance of it 
is nice as well. Um, and just keep note of any smaller items um, that you may not have in your inventory. These are all hard to name. And here is this house right here. Um, it's, it's dark. It's a dark house. Which is not my preference, but... You know, but to each their own. Now, when we go inside... We have... We have the, the shelves that have the jam on it. We have the glam mansion items. Um, I don't know where those chairs are from. And also we have the green, uh, uh, the green couch. We also have the green couch and also the chairs um, in here. And then, and then we have, and then we have the stairway. Um, and then when you go upstairs, we have um, the robes hanging. That's from the spa event. And then in here we have. The carpet from the wedding thing, or maybe it came with the Bell Hotel event, and that's kind of about it for here. This is kind of okay, and then and then you have the hacienda rug. And you have not much else, um, honestly. The layout of this isn't too bad. Um, and then here is this house. This house looks really nice on the outside. And... And the appearance of the house on the outside is very nice. It's, um, it looks like a unique build, which I like. So, so we have a pool back here, and we have a hot tub. And then, um, we have the seating, of course, and then when we go in the front, we have this car, we have this basement right here, and then we have uh, that washing machine set, and then there's the stairs that lead down to the basement. So over here, you walk into like a dining and a living area. You do get that gray couch and that gray ottoman. Um, and also that dining table with the chairs. Um, you do get these. I, th I think that these are the tan scandy the countertops. You know, if I remember correctly. Um, but, but let's see. I do like the kitchen, though. And I, um, I do. It has the red mixer. has the red, you know, toaster oven. And then when you go outside, you have another the dining table and more seating and a fire pit. And then on the other side of that, you have the pool. 
as well as another seating area. And then upstairs, we have the villa items. We have those Latin rugs. And we have this bathroom here with that shower right there. And then the Hacienda items. So really not too bad on this house. Um, I kind of like it. You know, I think that it's a unique build. So whoever had built this house, good job. Here is the last house. And I don't know what the hell is up with those staircases in the front. Um, but here is the side. You get that rainbow. Um, what's it? Gary, uh, karaoke thing. And then these stairs that really lead up to nowhere. I, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it, but anyways, um, you get the hanging tires, and you do get the yellow, uh, and you get, you get two of them, um, from that other garage event. They had, the, like, the upscale one, I think it was, or something. I have no idea. I forget. And then you have, um, that age computer. Whoever lives here lives in the dark ages. In terms of computers. And then we have the shower right here. It's old. It's the lime one. And then we have a washer and dryer. And that comes from the garage event. And then we have the pantries. Um, and then you have the coffee table. You're right there and in the Moroccan rug. I I think the coffee table may be a part of the Art Deco. I'm not sure though. And then and then you have a lavish item. So upstairs you um you kinda get into the teen area. Um again with the karaoke. Um as rainbow you get that and you have that couch and that chair you have that that's from the newest event so so I would snag that up um the and then we have a newer desk right there so the inventory in this house, it's not bad. There's a few things I would snag up in here. Um, like this house has some pretty good has some pretty good um, inventory, especially up here, especially if you're a brand new player. And then. And then up here, you have the closet event items, and then you have the chic event items. And, and then we have the, the old bathtub, and then, then up here we have, we have a bedroom. So, um, so the layout of this house isn't too bad. Um, we do get good inventory, so snag these up.